Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stopper. I am so inspired by my first guest this morning. She is a survivor. She is changing and saving lives one step at a time. Lauren Book is a victim of physical and sexual abuse, but she has managed to turn her horrific experience into something so positive. She's now a nationally recognized advocate and is raising so much awareness about sexual abuse. Lauren has also launched a campaign known as Walk In My Shoes. Now this is a 1500 mile walk across Florida along with raising awareness about sexual abuse. It encourages victims to speak up about their experience. It starts right here in Key West and ends in Tallahassee. Lauren has all the details for us this morning. Lauren, it's a pleasure having you here with me today. Thank you, Jen. I'm very <laughs> glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for being on. Now, Lauren, before we get into everything that you're doing right now, which is so much, let's take it back sure. to when you were around 11 years old yep. and you became a victim of physical and sexual sure. abuse. This lasted for a couple of years, Lauren. Yes, um, I was um, physically, emotionally, and sexually abused by my nanny. Um, she lived in our home. It went on 365 days a year, seven days a week. Um, it was a very, very, very difficult experience, as you can imagine. Um, but it, people don't really realize, aside from the sexual abuse that went on daily, um, there was also psychological abuse. Um, I was urinated on, defecated on, thrown down a flight of stairs as a means to control me as a child. I was 10, 11 years old, and it went on until I was 16, um, and she was a female nanny. So I harbored all of that shame and embarrassment because I didn't want anybody to think I was dirtier, that I wanted it. Um, and I really just carried that with me all that time um, until I was able to share it with a friend um, and we were able to tell a guidance counselor and um, then we, I was able to get the help from my father and eventually you know, we went through a court process and Waldina, who is the nanny, is now in prison for 25 years for the abuse um, on, on me and um, from that negative experience, um, my dad and I and my family really wanted to turn a negative into a positive and that's where Lauren's, Ki Lauren's Kids Foundation was born. Wow, you really have turned something so horrible. I, I can't even imagine, Lauren, everything that you went through. Do you remember what it was that finally made you decide to speak out about what was happening to you? I think that for me, it was somebody who actually genuinely continued to ask and probe and say, I know that there's something going on with you and I care enough and love you enough to continue to ask until I get what's bothering you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he saw bruises on my body that nobody really noticed or paid attention to and continued to ask and say when you're ready I'll know that you'll share it and that's an important thing that I want your viewers to take away um, mm -hmm. it's important to talk to our children it's important to ask them how their day is how interactions go with different individuals if they seem skittish or those are signs that something is amiss and to really look into that um, and once somebody I saw somebody that genuinely cared for me it made me feel like I could finally was in a safe place to share what was going on. Wow so then once you shared what was happening did you guys immediately go into action about you, you know you said you mm -hmm. wanted to turn this negative into something positive did you immediately start doing that or did it take a while it took some time mm -hmm. I mean I had a lot of healing to do I had a lot of a lot of psychological work that really you know I had to go through um, I was anorexic my body weight was down to 65 70 pounds I was mutilating um, you know we were going through a court process at that time and I was still really young I was 17 years old um, Waldina was convicted um, and we had a, um, her sentencing was the day before my 18th birthday. So I had a, a little time before I was really ready um, to step into the role at, at the Lawrence Kids Foundation. Um, you know, wanted to make a difference, but really needed to heal a lot of my own stuff before I could do that. Um, so went to counseling every day, I still do. Um, you know, went to a public agency, the Broward County Sexual Assault Treatment Center saved my life. Um, and if it wasn't for them, um, I simply wouldn't be here today. And that's one of the reasons why Walk In My Shoes is so important, because it connects local individuals with centers in their communities where they can get help. 
um, here in the Keys, you have a wonderful facility called Christina's Courage um, that really do, goes the extra mile to keep your community safe and to provide counseling at free of charge mm -hmm. um, to individuals who need it. Um, and the Florida Council Against Sexual Violence is a great partner, and we're proud to, to work with them to help the individuals in our communities get the services that they need. Wow, it sounds like we are very blessed then down here in Monroe County and in the state of Florida. We have to take a quick break right now, but Lauren, I'm going to talk more with you this morning. Please don't go away.